What's up guys and welcome back to another Johnny Q video. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing a duty belt by Duty Men. Let's get into it. Prior to going to the academy, I was provided duty gear and a duty belt by my agency. When I got to the academy, I realized a lot of the guys there weren't provided good gear or quality gear and some didn't even get any gear at all. A lot of those guys told me they had to go and provide their own gear, go out to the market and buy expensive gear. And because some of those guys couldn't afford the good quality gear, they got pretty cheap and crappy gear. And that's why I'm making this video. And you guys know me, I'm transparent, and I wanna let you guys know that Duty Men did send me this package. It's got a full gear setup for guys going into the academy, for guys who are officers who want to get a different duty setup. Duty Men did send me the setup. Let's unbox it, see what's inside, and kind of go over the gear and see if it would be useful for you guys on the road. Okay, so right now, this is the radio uh, holder and it swivels. Okay, we got mag carrier. We have a either baton or mace carrier. Cool. And this, I think this is the baton. Uh, carrier, a cuff case. Oh, just, just so you guys know, the packaging on this, quality package, I mean, look at that. Look at that quality packaging. Duty men on the top, I like it. I always appreciate quality packaging from quality companies. And then this is a keychain. You, you need a keychain, because if you're, trust me, you, you gotta put your keys on your, on your belt. You need them like pretty fast, you, you gotta get them belt keepers. Something I didn't know going into law enforcement is belt keepers. Police officers use belt keepers on their belt because it holds the Velcro and the actual belt to your person. Like, that makes sense. I didn't know that. Belt keepers. Can I just say, the smell factor on this is incredible. <laughs> oh, I love leather and yeah, this is great. The belts that were provided, uh, two and a quarter inch Sam Brown two row uh, stitch duty belt, and then also a one and three quarters plain garrison belt. So this belt would be the two and a quarter Sam Brown two row stitch duty belt. Right off the bat, this already feels like the quality that was provided to me by my agency, if not a little bit better just because of like how it feels. Okay, first I'm gonna take these out of the plastic, then we'll go one by one. Don't need that. Yeah. Man. Let's see, let's put my handcuff case, or my handcuffs in here. Cool, that fits. Nice. Also, great smell too. What's next in the box? This would be for a baton. Let's see, my, my baton, oh yeah, that fits. A little snug, but gotta keep it snug, right? Okay. And then we have belt keepers. We have a radio pouch that is able to swivel to fit your needs, which is great because if you're on the road, let's say you're chasing someone, putting hands on someone, and you know, things tend to move on your belt and the fact that this allows you to move with the radio, that helps too. Oh, this would be the keychain. Yep, you, ne you need this. This right here, lifesaver. Awesome, put that over there. And then in this package, we have a mag carrier, which, is whoo, quality. These are Glock 17 mags. I'm comparing this to my leather belt that I got issued in the Academy. And I'm not gonna lie to you already, off the bat, it feels even better than the one that was issued. So um, the cool thing about Duty Men is that they provide quality gear at an affordable price. Remember when I talked about uh, the guys at the academy and when they got to the academy, they were not provided quality gear and they had to go buy their own. 
and they were buying cheap gear. Well, Duty Men fixes that. It gives you quality gear at an affordable price. So let's see here. This would be for the mace. That fits real nice. Okay. So I got everything out of the package. Let's get the belt keepers. Goes off to the side. Oh yeah, these are nice. Cool. Everything is really leathery and stiff, but you know, once you maneuver it, it gets flexible. It flexes to your body and you're good to go. Just so you guys know, the belt buckle also does come with the leather belt. This belt buckle is gonna be the two and a quarter Sam Brown belt buckle and it's made out of nickel. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna set up this Duty Men leather belt setup and show you guys what you're going to get when you do order and set up your duty belt. And just so you guys know, I'll be attaching a Safari Land holster with a Staccato P on this duty belt. Here's what I like to do first. What I like to do is kind of configure what I'm gonna need on, on my belt, right? I am right-handed, so my firearm will go on the right side of the duty belt. I like my mags to be kind of in front of me, but on my left side. And so that means we're gonna start with our mag carrier. But before I put my mags on my leather belt, I like to take a long flathead and put it through the opening in the back. I like to make sure it's stretched out. Even though this leather is very good quality, it's gonna be stiff the first time around. And once you have it on your belt, it'll form to you. It'll be more flexible, but just to get the leather belt inside, I wanna make sure it's nice and stretched. This is something I learned um, while setting up my belt uh, in the academy, and it was really hard until I started doing this, so that helps a lot. I'll start feeding the leather belt in here. And you're gonna have to kind of like wiggle it through just because it can get a little difficult sometimes. But as you can see, that slid right on through, which is great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my mace carrier. Same thing I did earlier. Put my flathead through and I kind of just stretched it out. Let's get it through. There we go. All right, nice. And then what I'll do next, I'll grab my radio pouch and I want that on my left side just cause I use it for my support hand when I, you know, dial that little knob on the radio. So I'll feed that through like it's smooth and I think because of the quality of the leather, it's helping with the feeding of the attachments. Um, okay, got my radio on here, and now I want my baton. I'll feed that through very easily. I'm gonna keep that on my right side with my firearm. And what I'll do now is I'm gonna feed, here, let's, we'll take that out for now, and we'll feed the uh, Safari Land holster. And what I typically use is a Safari Land holster, and it's gonna be the, the three level safety safari land. You guys can use whatever you want or whatever your department um, gives you. So what you wanna do with these is you don't wanna feed it through the loops the wrong way. Obviously you wanna feed it through kind of going out and in, and then once you're in, going in to out, if that makes sense. So, oh man, <laughs> that's so smooth. Okay. I keep saying it's smooth and it feeds really well because it does, okay? When I was attaching uh, my attachments to my leather belt before I started the academy, it was really hard to feed them through. And I love that the Sam Brown belt provides you that ease of use, which is just great. I keep honing in on that, but I love that. It's like one of the main features I'm loving right now. So, okay, that feeds through pretty great. And as you can tell, uh, this Sam Brown belt does keep strong with the Safari Land holster and it won't budge. Like once I put uh, the belt keepers on there, that thing ain't budging. And finally, what I'm gonna put on there is my cuff case. And let's see, oh, that's perfect, yeah. And I want the cuff case sitting kind of more in the front area, uh, kind of almost appendix style, but like kind of one, two o'clock area just because uh, it's just gonna be easy. If I have to put hand on someone, just take the cuff case, I open it, grab my cuffs, and I'm good to go. So let's see here. Let's kind of finish it up and we'll go from there. So we'll put mace, okay, put the baton, the mags, 
Lastly, I'm gonna add the keychain, put it through the loop, and it's gonna sit right, right there next to my cuff case. It won't be too bad and it won't be in the way. Also, you have the added fastener on the actual belt itself so that when you put your belt on, you can put this in front and it kind of fastens your belt all together. So when you get the belt together, it looks like this. Mags, mace, place for radio, you have your keychain, cuff case, firearm, and baton. So that's what it is. Now let's try it on and see how it feels and how it looks. So before I put on the duty belt, I gotta put on the garrison belt that comes with the duty belt. There we go. So that's what the belt loops will attach to once I have the duty belt on. These loops, these hooks, when they attach, that ain't going anywhere. That ain't going anywhere. Let's try it out. Whew. Okay. Oh yeah. Put that through. Okay. So here's what it looks like. My, my cuffs, spar line holster, baton, mags, mace. Like I'll tell you right now, this already feels a lot better than what I had in the academy going in. And I had quality gear, like mind you, like it was pretty good, okay? And this just feels like I can work with it. I can roll on the ground. I can put hands on people, but I don't have to worry about this shifting. I know a lot of guys out there that go to an academy or go on the road with, you know, secondhand gear or hand-me-down gear. But if you want some affordable gear with you in mind, well then you need to go to Duty Man and get yourself a good setup, a good belt, good mag carrier, cuff case, baton and mace uh, carrier, and belt keepers. If you wanna check out Duty Men and what they have to offer, I'm gonna link them down below in the description. When you do get some quality gear, make sure to let them know I sent you. Now the question is, would you upgrade to this belt? Would you go to this belt if you were on the road or going into the academy? Comment down below. See, now what we gotta do is go to the range, run through some drills, do some sprints, push-ups, we're all on the ground, and see how this belt performs out in the real world. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace. Yeah, man, this is great. This is, a, man, I, I wish I had this in the academy. Let's just feel solid. Like this ain't going anywhere. <laughs> I love it. I really do. It's great.